the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. But we cannot make the adjustments 
to living for Jesus Christ on our own. We can't do it by ourselves. We need the guidance and the strength of the Holy Spirit to be effective. Just like a child who needs the love, the support of parents and guardians to grow up strong and healthy. Not to only do they grow strong and healthy, they are able to make meaningful contribution to the society in which they live. So as long as we are in the world, we will be tempted to return to the old way of living. So when we are faced with the desire to return to the old way of living, we need to remember that the standards of the world and the standards of God are not the same. They're like cheese and chalk. They don't mix like oil and water. However, we are constantly reminded in Holy Scriptures that we should run, we should flee from the very presence of evil. And when we do so, we will not become praise to the lords of the world. Therefore, Christians are called to a different standard of living. And the standard of living should be like the examples that Jesus has set. The teachings of Jesus. And what are some of these examples? Meekness. Gentleness and everything is equal over. Daily talk with God. Teach the faith. Give cheerfully as well as all the other fruits of the Spirit. These are the things that we need to readily practice in our society today if we intend to emulate Christ. And why is it so important to do so? How many of us will listen to the news or read the daily newspaper? Every time you take up the newspaper or you read the daily news, killed. Killed, crying. There's a sensation to the people. But there's always some killing. There's always some crime. So if we want a gentler society, a more caring environment for us, as well as our children, then we must help to effect the change. If you know somebody is breaking into the church hall, then you need to talk. You can't say you know business. As long as you know you should speak it out when they walk over your house. There was a time when you think of killing, and it was all in it. Oh, I told that happened. Right now is our doorsteps. So if we want a better society for our old age and our youngsters to enjoy. Then we can't shut up. We must speak. And when we do speak, it will make a difference. Does it concern us about the kind of 
world that you're going to leave behind? Are we still not in school? So maybe they're not going to be okay. It should be of concern to us the legacy that we want to leave behind. And our legacy building starts now. How do we leave a legacy behind? We can be a mentor to someone and teach and nurture him or her in the faith of Jesus Christ. We can be an encourager for someone who is suffering from low self-esteem. We can also be a shoulder for the sad and the lonely to cry on and to lean on. Christians, let us not live in ambiguity Rather, let the standards of Jesus be seen in our daily activities. We don't have one life on Sunday, and in a week we have a different life. It's not that you come to church in this particular clothes and you're going out and you change your clothes. That's not how we are to live. The same life we have here, live here is the same one we live wherever we go. So we don't live in ambiguity. Anywhere you go, I see you, so you stay. And so I invite us, let us occasionally pause and reflect upon our spiritual journey to see where we are and where we need to be so that we can deepen our faith and reliance upon Jesus so that we can effectively emulate Christ. So while we still have time and we still have the opportunity, we can make a difference in this world. Yes, we can. How? By teaching others how to adjust and how to adapt to the way of life found in Jesus Christ. Therefore, let us do as the chorus suggests. Turn our eyes upon Jesus. Look full into his wonderful face and the things of earth.